everyone. I am Michelle Legale. I hope you're doing really well today. Um, this is our second day of doing like an intuitive development week. So when I have the doors to Intuition Circle open, um, part of uh, what we do is I come on every day at noon and we do a little intuitive exercise together. So um, welcome. Today we're going to talk about how to release the blocks to your intuitive abilities. And I see a couple of you hopping on already. Hi, Sharon and Amanda. Nice to meet. Nice to see both of you. Okay, so we're talking about releasing the blocks to your intuitive gifts. Um, if you're new to this group, welcome. And what I have discovered, being an empath and a sensitive myself, I realized like the biggest gift of being an empath is our intuitive abilities and honestly even our psychic abilities and the difference between intuition and psychic is super simple in my definition of it intuition is when you use your own guidance your own stuff that you're getting for yourself to make your life better and clearer and psychic just means you use what you're getting to help somebody's somebody else's life get clearer and better does that make sense it's really that easy. If you're on here with me, go ahead in the, um, and just say hi. I see a few thumbs up going, and I see some hearts, so I really appreciate that. And I can tell a few people are here. Thank you so much. So my question to you is, um, the blocks. Like, all these blocks are going through my head right now. What are your blocks? How many of you even want to develop your intuition? You already have that gift. I don't, maybe there's people who aren't even interested in developing it. Just say yes, or like interested or not interested. Are you the kind of person who's interested in developing their gifts? You already have them. So just, I would love a real honest show of hands, like, or just put in the chat, interested or not interested. And I see some people saying, hello, good morning, Heather, Rose, Sharon. I'm having a fantastic day. I'm a little hungover from the two master classes yesterday. I'm not gonna lie, but I look like a little like I'm a little hungover. But it's all good. I gave a long reading this morning that it was just amazing. So I feel like I'm kind of back in the energy of like readings and talking to spirit and picking up on people's stuff. So I, I got myself back in the game, Sharon. Thanks for asking. Stacy, Rose, Cherry, Cherry. Um, Havy, Heavy, Heavy, Heather, Stacy, Heather. Okay, interested, interested, interested. Okay, good. If, so I want to start here. One of the biggest blocks I see with women, they're interested in developing their abilities, but they're afraid they don't really have abilities or they're afraid they don't have enough. They feel like they're just, they're just afraid. They, they're afraid their abilities aren't strong enough or what they believe they have isn't enough. Can you relate to that? Like put a thumbs up or yes or something like, do you fear that you don't really have abilities? Yes or no? Oh, I see some more. Interested. Awesome. You look great, Sharon says. Thanks. Um, interested. Interested and hello, says Diane. Okay. Do you, do you guys have any fears and blocks? Yes. The one fear and block I'm talking about now is the fear that maybe I don't really have abilities. Give me a thumbs up if you have that thought or fear that maybe you don't have the abilities you think you do or you don't have the abilities you hope you do. True. I see them, some thumbs up going. One person said yes. Rose said no. Rose, does that mean you believe you do have abilities and and you want to develop them, I'd love to know. So that's number one block. I, I had a master class last night. It was awesome. <laughs> and I asked that question, like, how many of you fear that you don't really have the abilities that you hope you do or you think you do or you believe you do? So many hands went up. I see so many thumbs going up right now. Yeah, you guys, that's a block. That's a fear. And that is not true. What if, this is what people are in there in the doubting themselves phase. What if you having the fear of, num, what's the fear again? The fear of 
maybe not having abilities, what if that fear is just an indicator that you do have abilities? It's not, it doesn't mean that you don't have abilities. Having that fear means that there's something there for you, you right? Like we just need to move past the fear. If you have a wanting to develop your abilities, then you have abilities. Anything we desire in the world means that there's something there for us to learn and grow from, grow from or maybe to heal from. Does that make sense to you guys? Any desires we have in the world, we have those desires for a reason. We're either, it's either part of our life purpose, it's either part of something that we, we need to learn about ourselves, it's something that we need to heal within ourselves. Does that make sense? Get yeah, thumbs up if that kind of makes sense. Um, okay. One person says, I'm the opposite. Stacy says fear, and then Havy says, I'm opposite. There are days that things come out without me trying. I'm afraid if I dive deeper, I won't be able to change it back, if that makes sense. So are you saying when you open up to your abilities, you're afraid it'll be like too open and you won't be able to go back to the way you were? Is that what you're saying? How many of you feel that way? That's also a block or a fear. You, it's the same thing. Listen, you develop, I feel like I'm turning into such a boss, but I've been doing this for so long now. I just know, I just know how it really is. And here's how that goes. You developing your abilities, it, it gives you more control over your abilities. Does that make sense? I gave this example last night. Like if we went to a random city and we're walking around at night and we don't know the city, we could, we just don't know much and we could end up in some spaces we shouldn't be in. If we knew the city, if we know the lay of the land, if we have the map, we are much safer in that city. We are, we are educated. We have more control over where we go, where we should go, where we shouldn't go. Does that make sense? So we wouldn't say, I'm afraid of knowing that city more could be dangerous. No, knowing more gives us more control. Does that make sense? Knowing more gives us more clarity. Knowing more helps us navigate our lives in the ways, the ways that we want to go. Does that make sense, Havi, if I'm saying your name right? But I know there's a fear that people have of knowing, opening up that ability could make things worse or make negativity come in no it's just like a city learn the map learn learn your tools learn your gifts learn how you're wired and you have so much more to navigate your life with does that make sense i hope that was that made sense my analogies don't always make sense um rose says i think i do have abilities but want to develop them Awesome. I want to encourage you, Rose, that I would love for you to try Intuition Circle for a month. It's a month-to-month -month basis to try it. And if you don't like it in the first month, I will happily give you your money back. Um, I really find that three things, you know, before I knew what I was doing, <laughs> you know, I, I didn't really understand that I was an empath, a sensitive. I didn't understand I was picking up on psychic stuff. I feel like you guys are probably so more advanced than I was back then. But what I know now is that our fears are a big part of our blocks. The way we were conditioned as children stop us from developing our, our abilities. Our abilities, if, if you really understood what you, what you are already doing and what you're capable of, your life opens up so much more. I really want to go back to that map analogy. We, we, you know, we have the map. And the more you understand the map of how you're wired, you're able to go to so many more places. Okay. Anne says, I don't feel fear. I am blocked. So I'm going to challenge you, Anne. How do you know you're blocked? Type it in the chat. How do you know you're blocked? Sounds silly, but I think it could be fascinating. 
Um, Heather says that makes sense. Dee Dee says the same thing. I have them, but I can't unblock them. This, I understand this feeling of blocked. You feel blocked. That there's, I know how to unblock you. It's if you step into and do it. Like no one is blocked in the doing. Everyone's blocked in the being stationary. Does that make sense? Blocked is just a feeling. It's a feeling of being stuck. It's a feeling of not being able to move. And if you come, I know you feel like I'm like totally selling intuition circle. And I kind of am because I love it and I believe in it. But I, I created it in a way to release the blocks. But let me share it with you right now. No one is blocked in doing. No one is blocked in moving forward. So if you come into Intuition Circle and you actually participate and watch the master classes and hang out with us and be in our Facebook group, you won't, you can't feel blocked. Blocked is a feeling of stuck. Intuition Circle being in our group is a feeling of growth and moving forward. Does that make sense? Heavy says, yes, exactly. Okay, so what I just said then, did that help? Heather says, I want to improve my abilities. I wish I could control certain things and open up on others. Yeah, this is that's part of development, Heather. Does that make sense? I see women on this path. They're in doubt. They doubt their abilities. They have fears. It's kind of what we're talking about today. There's blocks. But if I can help you just get past some of the doubt and how I try to help people with getting past the doubt, I say, come into intu intuition circle for one month. Like if I can just get people to take that step, then I can move them past the doubt. And past the doubt are these awesome things that happen. After doubt comes discovery. And I will be honest and say, when you're discovering your abilities, you're still a little shaky. Like, I don't know what I have. I don't know. But it's okay. An intuition circle, you can just observe for a while and see what other people are doing. But what's really going to happen is you're going to pick up on stuff, even though you might not say it. And that's going to build your confidence. And then eventually you're going to want to speak up. Then we move into development. Development is like when you want to practice with people and you're like, wow, I'm actually getting accurate information. Hey, I picked up on that. That was crazy. Did you see what happened? All that starts to happen. That's part of development. And then you get feedback from other people. Again, it boosts your confidence in yourself and, and what you're getting. Now, it's in this type of community where you're getting feedback and building your confidence. You take that back into your regular life. That confidence and belief in the things you're getting stays with you. So you're in your life now and you get an intuitive hit. The old you would have dismissed it or wondered about it or hem hawed about it. The you that has developed her abilities goes, I know what that is. I know what to do. Do you see the difference? Because we believe in ourselves now. We believe in the information we're getting. That changes our lives. Rose says, I'm afraid of having a power you can't handle. That, that's just a fear, Rose. What is it? Is it Marianne Williamson? I'm going to botch this up, you guys. We're not really afraid of our fears. We're af afraid of our greatness. Like that's our biggest fear. And Rose, that's what's coming to me when I read what you just said. That's not a well-lived life to live small, to live fearing your awesomeness, fearing your pot potential. We don't want to live those kind of lives. It's not an, th this is a journey. It, it's, you don't come into intuition circle and blow your head off. It is step by step it's a gentle process and you and you'll increase your capacity to hold your power your awesomeness your true self and i really i really mean that for you and anyone who that resonates with we the, the 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 day is over for us to stay small anymore we're allowed to go out and do things that are interesting to us to speak about what is interesting and important to us and do what's do what we're called to do. 
Heather says, makes so much sense. Yes, makes total sense. Awesome. Yes, yes, yes. Margo gives, gives me a this. And Cammie's here also. Um, she, Margo and Cammie and Sharon are an intuition circle. And Paul is here. You guys are awesome. Um, Stacy says, digging the map analogy. Thank you, Stacy. Um, Heather says, my senses and sensitivity to things that make me sick, that make me feel mixed emotions and send me into the emotional overload. So I need to develop some things more than others. You really, you're, you are who I was, Heather. I was that too. I really encourage you to come in at least for a month in into intuition circle. Things are going to click for you. You're going to be going, hey, I was doing that. Oh, I shouldn't be doing that. The things you're already doing, I have names for and techniques for and techniques not to do it anymore. So I really want you to try it. Sharon says, I've been in the energy of fear and being blocked by developing my gifts. I have moved past and have developed my gifts to a greater extent than I ever dreamed of due to intuition circle. Thank you, Sharon. And she's amazing. She's a healer. What I find with most women that come in once they start to develop their abilities and get clear, they get on their life path and then they have real momentum like, okay, this is what I want to do. This is how I want to move forward in my life. And that is freaking exciting. We don't, let's live exciting, happy, fulfilling lives. And we teach our kids to live those kind of lives. And it's just a good life to go out and do things that we're interested in and help people. Okay. Margo says, and sh uh, Margo says, we block ourselves, but she shows an easy path. Thank you, Margo. Thank you. She says, LOL typos. I get it. Paula, who says, when I feel blocked, I find that what's really happening is that I'm not getting it the way I want it. I just need to accept the way it's given to me. Boom. But Paula, that's amazing that you say that and it's so true and spoken like someone who's been working on this for quite a while paula's been in intuition circle how long i feel like you're you're a founding member i feel like you've been there since we started this in july of 2018 you've it's been amazing i've loved i've loved getting to know you and be and i consider you a good friend of mine now stacy's here carol hello Rose says, yes, exactly. Um, Tina says, why do I pick up on some people and not others? Good question. I'm not gonna be able to answer this in one Facebook Live. There's a lot of pieces for you about this. Um, with a piece that's coming to me right now, Tina, and again, this is just a fraction of it. We resonate with people, we resonate with certain people and we don't resonate with other people. And we, that's true for every human being, right? We just click with some and don't click with others. Now let's take this to what you're saying. Why do I pick up on some people and not others? Because you're, you're same reason. You can resonate and pick up on some people's stuff and not others. It's based on your experiences, traumas, and I wanna say desires, which is so weird, I've never said that before. You resonate with people based on your experiences, traumas, and desires. Again, I've never said that. So it's either right just specifically for you, Tina, but if anybody else um, gets something out of that, awesome. Rose says, my energy is too tired for it. Are you saying your energy is too tired to develop your abilities? It Then that might just be the case, and that's okay. Like, take a break. If you find yourself taking a break and staying in your house for a couple years and you have this feeling inside like I'm meant to do more, then I encourage you to give Intuition Circle a try for a while. But there is a time when you need to turn out the lights and, and be quiet. But if it goes on for years and you feel like you're kind of missing part of your life, then it's been too long. And Vicky's here. And Carol, Margo. Uh, Margo said you'll get energy from it. It would be fascinating, Rose, for someone who has low energy to just come in and hang out with us because we have a lot of live events together online in our Facebook group too. 
what would it be like for you to just get in the energy? We are a really high vibing, loving group of women. And it would be fascinating to see what that could do for your energy. Thank you, Margo. Anne says, when I was younger, I felt it came easy to know, feel, and see things. Total strangers would open up to me and ask spiritual questions. I have always known if people are good, whether people are good or not. No, I just seem to pick up on negativity. I've been hiding out at home. Going out is uncomfortable for a few years now. Okay, so I, I feel like I'm just plugging, plugging, plugging. But Anne, I just try Intuition Circle for a month. If you don't feel different in 30 days, I will give you your money back. It's like no obligation. I would just love for you to come and see if, if, I, if our group and the classes and everything we do can shift it for you. I, be, I bet it can. Um, Sharon, who's in Intuition Circles, just said, Heather, um, I've been there and uh, I'm no longer there. I used to spend my days on the couch, says Margot. Yeah, like there's something about, I, we're not like this because we're kind of loner kind of people, uh, empaths, so it's hard for you to imagine like, I don't want to be with a group, but <laughs> you're going to have to stretch yourself. Um, like here, I said this last night. You can either stay the same or you can grow. You can stay the same and just like get off this Facebook Live and just go back to your normal life. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I'm offering you a chance to do something differently. I'm offering you a chance to like see what you're capable of and be with some high vibing women. And most I would just, in this chat, if you decide to do it, say, let me know. I would love, I always try to think of like, why, what would, why wouldn't people try it? Why, why wouldn't you join it? Like, why wouldn't you try it if somebody's offering you a chance to, to tap into your abilities? I feel like I'm really going off the rails. Rose says, I hide because I can't handle the energy sadness of others. Yep. Rose, come join us. You know what you you know what you keep reminding me of? I I know exactly how you feel. And I bet a lot of the women who are on this watching this feel this way. I used to teach, I still teach it a little bit, uh, a program called the inner work because a lot of empaths take on the emotions, thoughts, and feelings of others. And strangely enough, we take on a lot of the negativity, right? We can see the, the yucky stuff way quicker than we can see the awesome stuff. Like we can see someone's sadnesses, sicknesses, stresses, anxieties, depressions faster than we can see the happiness, the joy. Do you guys agree with that? So one of the, the, the program I used to have was called the inner work. And what I was really trying to do in the inner work was help people heal like an empath resonates with the yucky stuff because they haven't healed their own that's one big reason it's not the only reason but i would help women who had some healing to do so that they didn't magnetize it into their life anymore they didn't see it in every single person they came into contact with and then i started intuition circle and this is what we just went like psychic and intuitive development but the fascinating thing in intuition circle we give each other readings, we get readings, we give readings, we do, we end up doing the inner work. The same thing I was doing in this other program, we're doing in this one, which is fascinating because the inner work was hard. We have to dive into our emotions, we have to really look at our lives. And Intuition Circle does it, but it's not as painful. <laughs> it's like we, have, our energy is, I don't know, it's, our stuff's coming up, but it's, it doesn't it doesn't bring us down anymore it comes to the surface it releases and we come become our true selves I know I feel like this is all in code you just need to come in and give it a try I put the link in the description above and it'll explain everything about what you get um, we do master classes we do mentoring and we do community like that combination is is the recipe in my opinion you can't just read a book and expect things to change. You can't 
med learn a meditation and sit at home alone and do the meditation. This really is about being with people online, speaking what's going on. I don't want to say it's therapy because I am not a therapist. But it sure feels like that. Like sometimes we cry on those calls. Sometimes I leave feeling super high. Like stuff's going on. Okay. Okay, I think that's it. If you guys have any questions, oh, there's a few more. So Rose says, so in circle, we work on healing myself. I find that my life was not what I thought. Yeah, so that sentence alone, Rose, just shows you that, yeah, you have some healing to do. And do we focus on healing ourselves in intuition circle? How, what do you guys think? Uh, Margo, Paula, Sharon, who else was here? Cami, Stacy, do you think, have you healed yourself? Do you think an intuition circle? Be really honest. Put it in the chat for Rose. I do. I do think we heal ourselves. We be, I do. I think we become more of our true selves. And as we become more of our true selves, we have to let some stuff go. Because it's that stuff that we held on to that made us not our true selves. So stuff does get released so that you can be in alignment with yourself. Uh, Margo says sometimes. And I think there's a laughing face. Um... Leslie, I'll read this last one, and then I can tell I've been rambling. So hopefully you guys are okay with all this. Leslie says, people have a tendency to run from me because I illuminate their feelings and darkness. Yep. I get it, Leslie. Is that a problem? I know that sounds so funny to say. Are you okay with that? Does that bother you? You're. This is like one of the things one of the symptoms or one of the identifiers of being an empath or a psychic you can see things at a deeper level and some people unconsciously and sometimes consciously pick up on that that they are seen at a deep level and what happens is those people sometimes tell you their deepest darkest secrets because you already unconsciously picked up on that and some people run away because they don't want to be seen that way. Does that make sense, you guys? I hope that makes sense. Okay, and then back to Rose. A few people from Intuition Turk are talking to you. Sharon says, the healing comes with understanding how you are wired and stepping into it. Boom. Margo says, it comes with the territory. My confidence is through the roof. Yeah. The confidence, I think, comes from the practice, right, Margo? And Terry's here. Um, Paula, who else? She's in Intuition Circle, too, answering Rose. It's not the focus of the group to do work on healing, but it ended up being it ended up being mine because I had to I had the support to do it. Awesome. Leslie said I used to. So I asked, does it bother you? And you said I used to. You used to take it personally. Okay, and then that that um, how I described it made sense to you. Okay. And Margo, I think it's funny what you're saying. I must be on I must be on L E leg, not sometimes. Oh, you're lagging on this. Um crying on the calls. So yeah, so it's funny, Margo, that you think crying is a sign of healing. And it is. It's one sign. Think about how many times we went like this. Whoa, did you guys just see what happened? That's healing. And then also at times when we were like cracking up because someone just said something and we start cracking up, that's healing. And then times where we're like super connected, like going deep, hey, da -da 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 -da, whatever, that's healing. Like those are all the forms of healing in my opinion. Um, Leslie says, I will try to get in the group because I am isolated. Yeah, come. I Leslie, I would love all of you who feel isolated. I, you're just like me. I wish I would have had this <laughs> back in the day. And I'm so, I cry thinking about how I felt, how I know you feel now. And it, 
I'm done with it for all of us. It doesn't have to be this way anymore. Try intuition circle. I've made it as risk free as possible. Come in and try intuition circle. You try it for a month. I want you to get the vibe of the group. I want you to try the master classes. There's like 18 master classes. As soon as you join, you'll immediately get access to everything. You'll get a calendar of events where we have our live calls. We give readings, we get readings. Some people just observe because they're new and I'm not sure about this and I'm, what if I'm wrong? Like it's okay, all levels of development are welcome. I probably say I'm best with people who are at the beginning of their development, um, but there's people who've been in our group for a while who are very have very much developed their abilities. They're in this group right now talking to you guys but they're there to help you too. And then that helps them because it helps them see that they can go help people <laughs> and then they'll go out and help more people, which is what we all want to be doing. Um, so let, I just want, I want the isolation for us to end. I want us to be in community and I want you to give it a try. And if I could help you feel less isolated or lonely or confused about how you are, then I have fulfilled my purpose. Okay, Bren, did I say your name right? Brenda, Brida. Wow, so, um, so, um, so meant to be here right now in this moment. Thank you. You're welcome. Awesome. I say, send me people I can help, and if that is meaningful for you, that you've again helped me fulfill my life's purpose. So thank you. Okay, everyone. I hope that helps. Intuition Circle is open now, and we're open for a few more days over the weekend and a little bit of next week. Um, I do have a couple things. We're doing the first 20 people who sign up. Um, we're going to do a private group call for the first 20 people who sign up. A lot of those spots have been taken already, but we have a few spots left. So if you know you're going to try this, do it now and join us in that private call. Um, we also have an intuition circle. We actually have a live class tomorrow happening. Um, it's a live Q&A and coaching call tomorrow at 1 o'clock on Zoom, which is just um, online. It's an online platform. So if you want to try those, if you want to be a part of that, I would love for you to sign up. You'll get immediate access to everything. You'll get it as soon as you join. You'll get an email that explains like how to get into our Facebook group. You'll get access to the master classes. And like step one, this is what you do. And if you have any problems, you'll reach out to me. You'll have my email. Okay, I hope that helps you guys. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. Okay, bye.